right? You get views, you think you're great, but it's not help, helping you sell any carpets, right? Because people are not just really like, oh yeah, this is the poor guy who struggled with his business, poor fella, right? Let's sign him, let's like you, let's share it. <laughs> but I'm not gonna buy your carpet. But the, the thing is, you also need to stay true to what you're trying to do. Because the problem is if we chase likes and chase engagement and views, which is super tempting to do because we're all human, right? And especially if it comes to personal branding kind of stuff, right? We want our stuff to, as many people to see it, right? And then we feel good about ourselves, right? If nobody sees it, no, there are no views, all that effort and like no one's looking at it. But the problem is just because there can be audiences out there who want a certain type of comment. So for example, one of the trending things right now on, especially on LinkedIn, is this whole authenticity thing, right? Be authentic, blah, 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 be real, etc. Which is true, which is great, right? We all like to deal with real people who are honest about stuff, it's fine. But it can also go, a little, I personally am starting to see it go a little bit overboard, where, you know, you may be trying to create, you, you want to be known as, I don't know, let's say a marketing guy or PR guy or whatever it is, right? Carpet guy. Um, but you create that video for the carpet and then it gets 20 views, right? Uh, and a little bit back to Brian's question as well. But instead I could just create this video about, you know, how the struggles I went through and to start my carpet business and how challenging it was, etc. Now that's a much more human story that will definitely get more views, will definitely get more engagement because we're all human beings, we all like human, real stories. But is it going to help your brand? I don't know. Right? You get views, you think you're great, but it's not help, helping you sell any carpets, right? Because people are not just, you know, oh yeah, this is the poor guy who struggled with his business, poor fella, right? Let's sign him, let's like you, let's share it. <laughs> but I'm not going to buy your carpet. So no, I mean, I joke about this, but it's true. This is the problem with it, that we chase the likes, we chase the easy audience, we go for the quick wins, we go for the short content that is going to get us more likes. Right? We're very tempted to do it. But maybe completely the wrong strategy. If you have clear objectives, uh, but sometimes, like I, often I create stuff, and I don't always have this perfect objective in mind, right? So I create it, and then I go, this one didn't really work so well, this one did. Should I create more like that? But then I think to myself, well, you know, what am I trying to build? What's the point? 